At College X, the number of students enrolled in both a chemistry and biology course is how much less than the number of students enrolled in neither? So statement number one tells us that there are 60 students enrolled in chemistry. So that statement alone doesn't tell us how many kids are in bio, how many kids are in both. So that gives us no chance of answering the question by itself. So that, question, that statement is insufficient by itself. Now forget statement number one and let's focus on statement number two. Statement number two tells us there are 85 students enrolled in biology. Well now we have no idea how many are in chemistry. So again, we have no, no way of figuring out how many in both, how many in neither. So statement number two by itself is insufficient. So now let's look at the combination. Once we find out that the two individual statements are insufficient, we look at the combination. Well, now we're going to put this information in a table. So the students enrolled in a chemistry course, there are 60 students taking chemistry. That 60 includes the ones, both the ones taking biology as well as, one, well as the ones taking not biology, just chemistry. There are 85 students taking biology, and that 85% includes the overlaps, the kids taking biology and chemistry, as well as the kids only taking biology. Well, the trouble is, these are the only two numbers we have. We have no idea of the total number. We have no idea how many folks are not taking chemistry, not taking biology, all of this stuff. And so, unfortunately, we, are, we have no way to answer the question. So this is still insufficient, even taking both statements into consideration. And that means the answer is answer choice E.